Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna be going through how to beat Tower of Trials, the new uh, dis catastrophe disaster, disaster event on JP. So, it it's pretty simple, I'm not gonna lie. I doubt it'll be that difficult. This is a repeat one, I'm pretty sure. Yep, with Evil Lily at the top. I'm basically just doing this for the SA coins. Nothing really. Ooh, I could take those Awakening Stones, because I have, like, basically none. Um, but yeah, I guess I'm just gonna quickly go through and show you guys how to do it. Sadly, uh, you can't get any of the uh, titles besides the catastrophe title, so there's no point bringing in uh, all our units for the final stage and one SSR or anything, so yeah, there, there's just no point. We're just going to try to blitz through it. I probably could just bring the one green Gother in Margaret, honestly. I don't know why I'm bringing in the Bond team. I might just switch it to that after this. I'll just probably cut, but just do triple A or double AoE and we should kill. Unless they have revive, I actually don't know. Wow, I did no damage. Okay, so these are tankier than the regular tower tiles, or maybe my bond just sucks. That could be it. That could be it. I don't know if he has his gear on, to be honest. I already forgot. He should, though. But yeah, basically, you can just bring in, like, any unit. Like, you could probably bring in OG Pierce, and you would be fine. I think that's why I cleared this tower out of global oh, for the first time. But I was like, you know what? Let me just make a second video. Super easy for today. Final, uh, my final boss Zelda's video should have came out today as well. So you guys go check out that. The thumbnails in the top right. There we go. That's some DPS. All right. So I'm just going to cut till I get to like the hard stage, you know, like the fifth stage. Because I don't want this video to be too long. Every like big stage with a good reward is what I will showcase. But guys, if you're new, consider subscribing, hit that like button. They'll be greatly appreciated. And I'll be, I'll catch you guys in the next hard stage. All right, we're at stage four. And I guess, you know, it's an SSR pen. It's like, I'll show you guys how to do it. Uh, I put Jericho on the back instead of Death Pierce simply because we have two blue units. So I'm just gonna be increasing the attack related stats of all of our blue units by 10%. So yeah, also I'm going to turn on this music. I don't want to get a headache before I have to go to the gym. Um, so basically, what you're hoping for is a rank 3 market card. We didn't get it. Okay, so I'm just going to buff and double attack with Escanor. Uh, obviously, you don't need this team. You could easily just run like Red Gother, Blue Demon Melee, and Lilia, and you would still be fine. You, you don't need this team. I'm just going to make it as fast and not as brutal as possible. <sighs> we never crit, bro. I have everything to increase my crit resistance and it just or crit chance and it just doesn't work. But yeah, like you don't need Green Gother if you don't have Green Gother because I know that there's gonna be like a hundred people in the comments asking, uh, do you, you need Green Gother? You never need any Green Gother for this stupid catastrophe event. You could literally solo it with literally assault melee. Like the final stages, you might need some RNG to solo it with assault melee, but it's it's definitely doable. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to rush Eskin result because these guys are actually pretty tanky for some reason. Oh, now we crit with just like extra like 8% crit chance, I think, with Eskinor's, uh passive. I think that's what it is. I don't know what the uh, rule is for this tower because I thought it was disables all... Uh, I don't know what that is. 50% something. Uh, but... Maybe you have to have a full of the same team or something. I don't know, but I thought it was uh, negates all ults from being used because I earlier on I couldn't even use my ultimate. Like I couldn't gain ultimate gauge. So I don't know. If you guys know, let me know. I'll hold this up for you for a little bit so you guys can actually read it. Fifty. No, oh, okay. Fifty percent is something like fifty percent less damage. I don't know. All right, hurry up. Jeez, this is... Uh, I hate having 1-6 units. Please. I need Eskinor on this next fest banner. Please. I, I want to at least get the Eskinor like 4, 5, 6. And I would call that a win. I never pull the actual fest unit. I always pull the one previously. So therefore, that means I should get Eskinor. Potentially. <laughs> Uh, let me know down below guys. Are you guys excited for the new fest? You know, you guys not w What are you guys waiting for? Also, I'm gonna do this one because there's some essay coins in here and I'll show you how to do it I'm gonna be playing cookie clicker on the side 
the true gentleman's game. Alright, their CC is so low, too. Like, I don't get why they're so tanky when their CC is utter garbage. <laughs> I'm just gonna buff AoE. I guess I can rank up. Rank up Margaret. Level 2 buff, level 2 AoE. God, dude, we need a times 4 speed. Oh, that would be amazing. Please, Netmarble, add it in. Boruto Ninja Tribes can do it. Why can't you? <laughs> I know they're completely different games, but still, I would love a times four speed. Oh, it would be amazing. Oh, what the hell was that? The hell was that? That wasn't a debuff? It didn't do damage? Oh, it must have just been that tanky. Okay, I see. Um, so, we'll AoE. Get a rank 2 esque in our bonk. Uh, let's bonk you. And then bonk your second life, because I assume you're not going to die from this first hit. Nope. Of course. And big sausage. Wait, what? I can hit the middle person? Oh, I, I thought I couldn't until they were the final person standing. Alright, I guess it is the Catastrophe Tower. They do whatever they want. Ugh. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna cleanse and I'm gonna kill Lilia. That way I'm not attack weak. No, I think I get immunity. Yeah, I literally get immunity. So I, I think I should be fine. Uh, we just do this, that, and I'll AoE. Probably could have buffed, but whatever. Yeah, we kill, we kill. Alright, so I'm gonna cut for a few stages on this one as well because otherwise this video is gonna be like 40 minutes long and I don't think anybody wants that. And that is how you get the SA coins. Hell yeah, stage 5 done. All right, we're back. We're on the stage 10. I just beat the stage 9. If you need help with that, you basically just do the exact same strategy. You know, AoE, single target, etc., etc. You could bring an attack food because these guys are actually pretty tanky and it's pretty annoying. I have full attack credit on all my units besides Gother, and it still is tanking quite a bit. Like, I don't, I, I don't like how tanky these units are. I want to be able to just clear through this and have them do a lot of damage, and I do a lot of damage back. But no, they're super tanky. Uh, let's try to kill this person in one shot, I guess. That way it speeds up something. Uh, so we're going to go for a rank 3 Escanor. Because I think that would do more damage than a rank 2 and a uh, Margaret buff. I could only assume. I could be wrong. Wowzers. Something has to be nerfing our damage. It has to be this, right? I can't read this. So I don't know, but the bottom one looks like it attack weakens you if you don't if you're like not the same like race. So I assume if you bring in only demons, it would be really easy. Or only angels. I'm not quite sure. I can't read anything. <laughs> um so I'm gonna do this. Actually I'll probably cleanse. I'll probably cleanse, buff up Eskinor, and then do that that. We should at least kill this side guy. Alright, Fisticuff. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that DPS. Look at that DPS. Then the Bonk should one-shot, right? Yeah, I don't know why, but rank 3, 90k. After that, rank 1 was like 120k? Kind of weird. Oof, the rocks. You don't have to bully go there. Goddamn. What did he ever do to you? Um, Alright, so let's just finish this off. As you can see, it's a super simple one. I assume the only help most people need is around stage 20 to 25, which I'll be doing all of those stages. All those stages get really good rewards, and they're probably the only difficult ones in this entire stage. But yeah, that's how you get this one. So I'll be right back into the next hard stage. All right, happening to stage 15. Let's go. I'm going to bring attack food because this is taking way too long. <laughs> I highly suggest bringing attack food. Like, they're so tanky. Rank 3 Escadors don't kill anymore, and it's very annoying. And he has everything max, except he doesn't have the Holy War Relic, or whatever it's called, because that's... That 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 costs a lot of money. Also, guys, the Escadors one, the base Escadors one, looks so cool. I want to buy it, but I also don't. <laughs> like, it just looks so cool. I'll probably show it to you guys after the tower, so that way all the people that want to see how to beat Tower 25, or Floor 25, will know how. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
It looks so sick. And then I see Purgatory Bonds and the one asking her, and I'm like, y'all look basic as shit. Uh. Alright. Oh, I thought Shin disappeared. I was like, wait, we killed Shin, but no, he's still there. He, he just kind of blends in with the road. Oh, he deletes my cards? That's cool. I don't care. I don't need that card, whatever it was. No, I needed that card. What the hell? God damn it. Well, I guess I'll just rank up Escanor. Merge these, get my ult, and do that. Boom. As I said, guys, this is a super, super easy tower. It's probably the easiest tower in the game, besides maybe the first tower trials. I think... Wait, no, wasn't the first tower trials really hard? I can't remember. Anyways, this one's super easy. Damn, stop deleting my cool cards, even though I think that was a go-through card. All right, we're going to ult. Single target, single target, and Escanor is just the best PvE unit in the game. Oh, he's still alive. What the goddamn hell? I, I love how my fisticuff did almost the exact same amount of damage as him. All right, catch one on stage, like, t probably 20, and then I'll show you how to beat stage 20 through 25. I'll be right back. All right, we're going on to stage 20. We just beat this one. The, the mono was actually pretty scary. He, she was dicing up my go through. I won't lie, but we did beat it. Basically, you know, same strat. You, 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 you buff, you, you rush asking a result, and you kill something. Like, this tower isn't that hard. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have any problem with a certain stage, let me know. I can try my best to try to help you guys in the comments or consider joining the discord link in the description that way we can like hop into vc and i can help try to build you a team if you don't have the most adequate of teams i will try my best as i try to do with all of my uh viewers in the discord because you know i've helped people with the uh revamp tower trials you know where it's like one stage every month or whatever so yeah i i, I do try my best to help them if I can't help you, then you might just have to build up a certain team before I can help you uh, actually beat this, because not everybody's going to be able to beat this, but <sighs> let's go. I saw that Nagato did a uh, solo run with Assault Melee. I wonder how that went. I, I didn't want to watch it, because I was lazy. Uh, I bet you... Oh, gosh, I... I wonder if Pregatory Bond can solo this. He's probably like the only other unit that probably could. I don't think Escanor could since he's a single target. Bond is an AoE. Assault Melee, you know, he gets Amplify stacks. We could basically one-shot anything anyways. So, uh, let's just rank up Escanor. Escanor slash. He, he's probably going to revive as well, which is really annoying. So, let's just make sure we kill him twice. Oh, he didn't revive. Epic. Can we kill two of them? Ooh, perfect. And then I think Camilla can probably stun, but since the next phase we get immunity, it is completely fine. Oh, went for her. Okay. So we're just going to rank up Askinor, go for double rank three, and we should kill. He only has attack defense, so if you guys don't have attack crit, you should still be fine. Just got to get those 15% rolls, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, it, I don't know why, but some of them have revive and some of them don't. Thankfully, not all of them do, because otherwise this would take even longer. I've just been watching Bleach in the background. I've been finally watching anime again, because I don't do, like, seven videos a day anymore. So, yeah. Uh, let's go into floor 21. Let's go. Alright. Facing a random stage, I probably could have cut this one out to be honest, but it's it's whatever. You know, maybe you guys need help with this one. Who knows? Um, so we're just gonna rank one buff, and we're gonna double attack just to get rid of these cards in hand. So that way, because I don't know why, but the first turn I do like zero damage. I could rank three buff, rank three attack, and I do like a hundred thousand damage. But as soon as it gets to the second turn, Escanor always crits. He always hits hard. I don't know if it's part of the little passive thing down here in the corner or what, but I don't like it. Because as you guys saw at the very beginning with my bond, it was almost the same exact thing. I could rank 3 buff, but honestly, I don't think it's worth. I think I'm just going to double Escanor. 
Damn, bro. Everybody hates these women. Oh, I'm so tired. I am so, so tired. I need to farm so many demon mats. I, I genuinely need to farm demons, but I don't have enough people to do demons with. Especially because now school's in, like, school has started, so, like, I just can't do stream, like, demon streams ever, unfortunately. Because all the people that watch my channel are pretty much in school, like, college or high school, middle school, that kind of stuff. That's my main age group around my channel, and unfortunately, that, that means school. Um, honestly, it's just rank too buff. Escanor and Margaret. We should kill, right? Escanor still hits pretty hard. He has max passive. Look at that shiny boy. Look at that shiny lad. Yeah, yeah. Is that stage 21? Or is that stage 22? Stage 21, because I remember I had gold. I just want to get this over with, dude. Like, I think this is my first Tower of Trials on JP that I've beaten. I've just been way too like, oh, I don't want to do it because I don't, I don't like my team. But ever since Margaret came out, it makes everything so much easier. Can you, you can just cleanse away with a rank 1. She does a lot of damage. She's not like Blue King where his card is basically useless since they just cleanse all debuffs. She's just a support and a DPS. I thought we crashed there. Alright, and now whenever you get this hand, this in my opinion is probably the best play known to man. You just... Come on game. You just rank up. This and rank 3 buff. No need to merge or anything because Margaret's AoE isn't that important anyways. It's all about the Escanor bonks and ults. See, look at that. 215k without a buff. Oh, we got some rank 3 Escanors as well. I wonder if I could just kill. Oh. Well, now I think I definitely can since I have a rank 2. But, you know, they could revive because I haven't checked their passes or anything, but... Oh, wow, so some of them have weak point, it looks like, on this stage. Oof, duh. Uh, I'm not even going to cleanse because, honestly... I think Escanor can easily solo this stage, especially since he already has the rank 3 buff. Yeah, no revive as well, that's absolutely amazing, because now we can just go ahead and one-tap everybody. Uh, this boss might be able to survive. Never mind, he's a red. Oh, <laughs> uh, bro, Escador is just too busted for PvE. I hope that he comes on the next banner, because I know that a lot of people still need him. I want some dupes for him. I will go hard on this next Gother banner, if so. Yeah, alright, 200 anvils. I will gladly take this. I need to make so many gear sets, and I just don't know who to make some for yet. Like, I don't want to make two gear sets for every single character, because that's like what every single whale does i just want to make one gear set for like each like sin really i think i have two for meliotis actually i don't even have two on my main like it's like half you are half rare gear uh literally the worst hand i could have gotten so i'm just gonna buff double attack boop 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 oh oh god It is too early. It is too early. Um, uh, dude, why do you do so much damage to my Margaret? Jeez, she has such high crit resistance, and you guys always crit her. That's not very nice. All right, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna kill the red guy. I'm gonna kill the red guy. Because, you know, if you kill one unit, then... Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to kill him. He has way more cards coming in. So, let's rank up Escanor. Go for the rank 3 bonk. And Fisticuffs, just in case he goes for a uh, revive. Yep, revive. Really annoying. Dude, the crit literally, like, almost triples the damage. It's crazy. Oh, my God. Literally, just let me go to bed. I'm so tired. I don't know why. Uh, let's get this rank up and then double Escanor Bonk because then we get the ultimate. 
it, it's it, it's super simple i don't even know why i'm doing all these floors i should probably just go to floor 25 but just in case if there's some hard stage i'm just going to show you them all god i hate the revive the revive is so annoying it just wastes time to be honest Why is that the boss? He literally just applies poison. What a terrible effect. Poison is probably the worst effect in Grand Cross right now. Besides maybe like Ruin. The one where you do more damage per debuff on a unit. Because you're not going to get that many debuffs on units anyways nowadays. Uh, 200 animals. Let's go. I think we have two more stages. We can finally just say, alright, we're done. Yes, finally, let's go. Oh. Okay, we got small boob Lilia, let's go. Buff, buff, buff. Oh, this is actually the worst hand I could have gotten. I think I'll just upgrade Margaret, get a rank two uh, buff card, and then rank three attack. Ugh. Massive buff. Let's go. Alright, can we kill all of them in one hit? And... Not even close. Okay. Damn. This reminds me, whenever I play an Assault Melee team, I can just never kill them in one hit. They just always have to live with, like, one HP. Uh, did I go for a rank up or do I think I can just kill? I kind of feel like I can just kill. I do have a rank two buff. Uh, you're a red one, so I'm going to go rank one, then a rank two, and then that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so rank two on a green unit. I should kill, right? Hell yeah. And then rank one probably won't kill. Ooh, it did. We double crit. Let's go. Let's go. Final stage, final stage. So for the final stage, I believe you have to have 250,000 CC, I believe is what it was. I genuinely could not remember, but yeah, let's uh, let's see what you need. What do you need? 220, okay, so that's pretty reasonable, especially with level 90 SA6. So yeah, let's, let's find out. Okay, we got a double rank up. I might just rank three buff because, you know, Lilia. Oh, but did, did she remove? Actually, I'm going to not. I'm not going to buff until next turn. So I'm just going to rank up. Rank up. And I'm just going to attack. Because I think she removes buffs or something. I can't quite remember. Unless it's just like the base Lilia from the game. Which I doubt it because that Lilia is actually just horrible. She's such a bad unit. God, without like any detail on that snake, it just looks like Play-Doh. Oh, it actually might. Oh, she applies Ignites. All right. Damn, bro. Really hating on Green Gother. What did he ever do besides break the meta? I think we kill. I think we genuinely just kill right here. Bop, bop, bop. Oh, you just can't use buff cards? Uh, okay. Okay, then. What the hell? Th that would be good to know in terms of, hey, this is blacked out, so you can't, or grayed out, so you can't use it. But no, they just were like, no, you can look like you use it, but you just can't. So, guys, you cannot use uh, any buff cards, except you can rank up, which is weird. So, okay. So I guess I'll just rank up Escanor. Uber card, just in case if I don't kill and they somehow have revived. But yeah, I think we easily clap this, right? Yeah. All right, well, that's going to be it. I'm going to show you the Escanor Relic. I almost forgot, but yeah, that is how you clear Tower of Trials.
Tower to Ca Tower of Catastrophe. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. For you guys who want to see the new Holy War Relic thingy on uh, the base escalator, I shall show you. It looks absolutely insane. Um, he's right here. I, I think it's my favorite Holy Relic in general. Like, look at this thing. I wish you could see the full thing. I don't know why you can't. But, like, look at that, bro. It looks insane. It would probably go best with, like, this armor. Maybe even this. Doesn't really go well with the tavern outfit that I have on right now. But, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully that helped you out. Subscribe if you're new. That would be greatly appreciated. And hopefully you guys have an absolutely amazing day. Peace out.